All right, Gitux, thanks so much for that. Away from politics and chaos erupted in Mombasa on Wednesday morning as Mwoka traders clashed with County Askaris over the transportation of the stimulant into the port city. The standoff that lasted nearly three hours began after officers from the county inspectorate blocked lorries ferrying Mwoka with traders riding on the Embu court order that stayed the ban imposed by three county governments. Our very own Laura Tiano now reports on the push and pull, pitting health risks and business interests against each other. Scenes at Bonje area in Mombasa on Wednesday morning. Mombasa County Inspectorate officers and Mogoka traders exchanged blows with each side holding ground. The standoff ensued after the traders were blocked from accessing the port city following an executive order by the Mombasa County government outlawing the transportation and sale of Mogoka within the county. <laughs> While the standoff ensued, lorries loaded with Mogoka stood in tow as the traders put up a spirited fight that finally yielded after three hours and the convoy ferrying the stimulant snaked its way into the Congo ware market. The High Court in Embo had on Tuesday suspended the impost ban on Mogoka that was commissioned in Mombasa, Kilifi and Taitata Veta counties. Justice Lucy Njuguna issued a restraining order to the counties from effecting the ban on Mogoka until the hearing and determination of the case on 8th of July. President William Ruto had on Monday faulted the ban on Moguka in the three coastal counties, indicating that the stimulant is a scheduled crop in accordance with the Crops Act 2013 and the Mira Regulations of 2023. <laughs> Mombasa Governor Abdul Swamad Nasir had defended his decision to impose a ban on the sale of Moguka in Mombasa. Abdul Somad told a local radio station that despite the political risks, he would soon make other far-reaching decisions that would shake the country. <laughs> Citizen TV.